So I am recording uh, a an explanation and tutorial of the corporate um, part. Uh, it's also called Enterprise. Um, so Enterprise uh, Reviews dot com. I'm going to explain all these tasks that are in Jira of what needs to be fixed. Okay, so I will go each one one through uh, eleven. There are eleven tasks that need to be fixed, and I will go through each one so I can explain it to you. Okay. So, uh, you can see here, there's 11 tasks, okay? So, the first one, let me first go to the enterprise, and I'll show you basically what this looks like. That's this page, okay? Now, you'll see when I refresh the page, the, this picture in the background on the first page, takes it takes a quite a while to load. It was never, this one was actually cached, that's why it came fast, but if you go to it from another browser, you'll see how long it takes to download. This was never reduced in size to um, be shown on the web, so I want you to take this image and reduce the file size for a web so that it loads very quickly, okay? Then, as you can see, when you log in, they even set this up incorrectly. So generally, you put in a username and password, and when you want um, people to, you know, scroll all the way down the terms and conditions, you can see what happens when you scroll all the way down. Then this this uh, gray login button turns turquoise. See, so basically, what I want you to do is take the forgot your password and login and put it below this checkbox. Okay, put it over here. So move these two over here. Um, actually, you can leave forget password there. Just put login in the center down here. And if a user tries clicking on login when it's gray, then we should say, please scroll down and read the terms and conditions. This should be the pop-up message. And click the checkbox, uh, you know, over here. So basically, we need to let them know um, that, and only when you click the checkbox, should this uh, turquoise uh, login button um, only when you scroll down and do the click the checkbox should this turn in turquoise okay so we gotta fix that now let me put in the password Morris Hart or okay so let me log in This was it. Let's see. That's not there. I put it in, right? Oh, I never clicked this checkbox. That's the problem. You know what? Maybe he did this on staging. I think that's what it is. So let me just log into this on stage. As you can see, see this home page? So even if you click on it, it won't work, right? Okay, so here's the home page. The image in the background is not very good, and I think we need to look at why this is not a good image. Um, but we'll do that later. Uh, so let's go through the first thing. First thing is error messages, look next to reviews, messages, feedback, and Q&A with a turquoise circle. It has no numbers in it. That should only show up if there's a new notification for their there's to be nothing inside it shows it's broken okay so what this means is maybe you're staging do you see down here these things right here the fact that the, there should be there the turquoise icon should not show up at all in here um, it should be blank unless 
you know, there is a new review, for example, or a new message or more feedback or more Q&A. So if there is, then there should be the turquoise with a one in it or two or three or whatever that number is. OK, and this is the fact that it's just showing turquoise is wrong. They should show nothing. It should be blank if, uh, you know, there's uh, no new messages. So that has to be fixed in here. That's the first task. OK, that is, I believe, wiki uh, 1097. OK. Number two, no data under page view and statistics completely broken. OK, so that means this is wiki. Um, I'm sorry, that was one. The last one was 1111. This is 1112. So 1112 means if you look here, Um, I actually do want to do digress for a second and explain a little bit more about what this feedback is. You may not know what feedback is versus Q&A. So let's just go to one of the wiki reviews pages. Okay, let's go to a business page. So let's go to a business page here. Now users who come to this page can ask questions. And they may want to ask a question that they don't want the business to respond to, but the community to respond to. So if you go under a Q&A here, you can ask questions. See this? So you can ask a question like, um, how many trucks, wait, uh, what is the quality of the trucks they have? Okay, so if you click here that you want this gone to the community and not to the owner of the business, then that goes into the feedback section. That means the business owner can read it, but he know he can respond to it if he wants to, but it's really a call to your friends and the community to answer that question. Okay, so we do this. And then if you go into the business owner page, you will see um, under feedback, it hasn't refreshed. This is under the biz owner. See, it says feedback one. So it, goes, it should default in biz owner to the unanswered one. See, what is the quality of the trucks they have? So what, the, even this is messed up. This has to be fixed. So only when you give the answer should it show, this should be moved under the answered section. So right now, even in here, if there's two unanswered questions, this number should say two. OK? And the turquoise should only be there if it's a new um, unanswered question. You know, otherwise, um, it should not be lit up in turquoise. It should just show the number two. So this is our business. This is in biz owner. So I just want to explain the difference between Q and A because people can ask questions. If they ad if they address it to the business owner, then it would come into the Q and A section. Okay. This is relating to the Q and A over here, and, and so I want to explain what feedback is. Okay. So now the second part is no data under page views and statistics. Okay. So if you look at the main page of business owner, you can see we have some statistics here. Now let me show you the enterprise on staging. These statistics right here are wrong. Okay, these are all wrong. This they're copying from the profile page and they should have copied it from the um, from the biz owner page. Okay? So over here, let me try refreshing this because it should show up the graphs in here. But you can see there's a distribution of approvals and reverts right here. See, so something is wrong with that because it didn't load properly. So first we have the very top page views. This is how many people are coming to the page. OK, and these are the dates. The dates need to be changed to the way the US does it, which this is like Indian way, which is like year, month, and day, and it needs to be changed to um, month, day, and year, okay? Now here, this also has to be changed to month, day, and year, and 
when you click on it, you should be able to modify the time frame, and then it should show properly in this graph. Okay, and this is the data that it should show. Now, this is how many people have recommended your business. This is how many people have added it to their want list. And these are the page views. Okay, so that, that's the data that needs to show up here. Now, this is the distribution of approvals and reverts. Okay, when people upload images to your business or to a business, they all get reviewed in the patrol section. So this is the number of, of reviews that got reverted versus approved, okay? And images and tips and warnings. These are the category demographics for reviews and images. And right here is the age graph. This is the age of the user coming to the platform. Okay, so we need to show this data as well. And then here's the gender graph male versus female. We also have to add prefer not to say because Apple won't allow our app to go on the website if we mandate male or female. We have to have prefer not to say. Okay? So this part has to be fixed to copy what we have on BizOwner. That has to be put over here. Okay? So that's the second one. Show more, uh, let's see, shows more broken turquoise circles next to various things. So again, this is the same thing that I explained. It's the same thing. Um, your error messages. So here. Enterprise. So if you look over here under feedback, uh, I guess the first one also, it wasn't working. So if we go to the business page of CBS on Wiki Reviews and we put in feedback, it should show up here because uh, this is the, the admin administrator view. So all the feedback should pretty much show up based upon if you click a listing. So even up here, see this? We have to show the correct address, you know, CBS Pharmacy, but what's the exact address and city and state and street address? That all has to be on here when you click on this. Okay, um, so this will work when you actually, um, I'll show you, go to list view, and then you click on a business. Uh, I think you guys maybe didn't upgrade the Django on this, so we need this upgraded, this whole thing. But basically, when you do that, as, you, as I'll show you on biz, biz.wiki reviews, uh, or actually, it doesn't work on this. You guys have to fix it. Um, and then it'll show properly. But basically, you can click on a business, and you go to list view, and then the data over here should show up for my messages, feedback, for this, for the businesses on here. See all these? So if I click on any of these, then the data should show up below here. Okay? Um, okay. And, and the thing is, is that if there is data for feedback and Q&A, it should work. So if you go to that particular CBS page on wikireviews.com and put in feedback, it should show up in here. Okay? So we have to make sure that this whole thing works. So that means going to wikireviews.com, typing in CBS Pharmacy, and this is in which location? Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Yeah. Business. Yeah, I believe it's this one. Four seven five. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So here, if we put in something, like let's put in, uh, let's see, how many pharmacists. Work here. Okay. So this should go under the feedback section. Okay. Now it should show up here under feedback. Obviously, this is not working. I think you guys have to upgrade this. But uh, you know, it should work if you click on that. You know, if you go back to it. If I click on this, then this should change and show up. 
okay? I don't know if it works or not, but right now it doesn't, like, this whole thing is not working properly because I think this is not upgraded. But uh, we have to make sure that only these icons do show up in Turquoise if there is an unread review, message, feedback, or Q&A, okay? That's number three. Um, so what's number four, which is 1114? Okay, so just like this, answered has the number two for showing two answered reviews, but there's only one answered review shown. So this is pretty much staying with the same thing. So if you go to the reviews, you know, it, it's not showing the proper data here because it should, you know, I guess we're not showing the data because this is broken, but if you do, it shows like one review here under answered. So why it shows two, I don't know. When you fix this, you'll see that this is broken as well. So you have to fix these numbers and make sure these things work, okay? And it should default, when you click on reviews, it should default to this area that needs to be addressed, you know? Um, and that my guess is that's the new section, okay? So let's see. What's the next thing? When putting in a zip code, it does not show all the closest locations to that zip code. So if you go in here and we want to type in, like if I type in where I live, 53092, okay, this is in Wisconsin. It's a zip code in Wisconsin. Now, it should show all the CVS locations next to that. So if you go into Wiki Reviews and I type in 53092, that shows my one, and then I type in CVS Pharmacy. See all these locations that are showing up here? All of these, and they have to just basically show by distance, like 0.5 miles, point, you know, 0.7 miles. It should show the closest first. Okay, so all of those have to show up properly with the exact address and everything like that um, over here. Okay, that's how this is supposed to work. So by typing in city, branch name, whatever, all those things should show up here, okay? So that whole thing has to be fixed. So that should work for city, state, and zip, okay? And then if they put the CSR name, that has to do with one of the uh, other employees that are CSRs at CVS, okay? So those are the people that we assign in the admin view for CSRs, okay? So that part has to be fixed. Why is every state not alphabetized, okay? It shows randomly, which is all wrong. So I, in this one, I gave you all the states, and we also have to add these U.S. territories. But put these in alphabetical order in, in with all these, okay? So we have to add that, and I'll show you where to do that. So basically, when you fill out a lot of data for the business, like all of this information, the hours of operation, uh, menu items, um, email, website, a lot of this data can be copied over to the other listings, okay? And to make it easy for admins, we made this tool uh, where you could click on this. And here, you should be able to select the USA or Canada, which does not work. And here, it should have the state. I don't know why this is not working. But when you do that, it should have all the pull downs that I showed you. And then it should list in alphabetical order with all the CVS locations. Um, if you actually get this thing working, you'll see the errors because it's supposed to show like this. Uh, it'll show all these branches. Uh, let's see. It would show all these pull downs are incorrect. Okay, so it would show like this. And basically, what you're doing is we're copying the data from one location to another. And this allows you to copy the data that you know is correct. So you would pull down the city, the, see the country pull downs as USA. I don't know why it's not working on this. I think it's because you guys upgraded and these issues were not resolved or fixed. So these, these parts all have to be fixed. Okay. And then you'll see that it works like that. But you have to put it 
and do it so that it lists properly by state and, um, and country, okay, which is USA and Canada. And then what you do is you copy, and then once you fix that, I'll show you if something is wrong because you're supposed to be able to choose one of these and then copy it over to any other branch um, that you want or select all branches, okay? So if you actually get this working, you'll see how this works, okay? So here, selecting random branches with no order is all wrong. It has to be broken up by state and listed. Uh, so you can include all the listings. So this is the same thing, applying images to listings doesn't even work. So basically, if you put upload an image uh, on one page, okay, I'll show you. This is all relating to this section here, okay? So once you get that working, I can explain more. But basically, it allows you to change, assign like, let's say this logo to all the listings in CBS, okay? Or even the background image, or if you upload a video to the background here, you can apply that video across all the listings on the platform. So this all part has to work. So not only do, does, do we have to um, get that part working where you pull the city and state uh, and country pull down, but then when you apply the images or videos or whatever it is you wanna apply to other listings, in this area right here, when you click on this thing, then that whole thing has to work, okay? So we need you to fix that. That is what that number seven is all about. So you can see I tried copying over, you know, like say an image to all of these branches over here, and it didn't work. So that's what this is about, that this part has to be fixed, okay? Again, showing how zip code and city does not work. This is in the branches section. We have to do the same thing over here. So if you go to the branches section, uh, so we click on the admin section over here, admin view. And then if you go under branches and we type in branch, you know, just like with zip code and city and all that, then it should all show up the way it does in the other one. This one does not work. Okay, so we should change the text here to say type in by city, state, zip, okay, just like we did in the other one, and then it should work the same way. Okay, so if I type in 53092, nothing shows up. It's only showing like, and it should show by distance too, right? So this is only showing, let's say 44236. So if it matches, then only will it show up. And why this image is broken, I don't know, but we gotta fix that image, okay? In settings, admin is supposed to allow businesses to choose a call to action. So let me show you in here. This is in BizOwner. In BizOwner, we have account settings, okay? And in account settings, a business owner can choose their call to action. They can choose one of six call to actions over here, right? So let's just cancel this one right now. Um, okay, let's just cancel that one. And here you can choose any one of these other ones, right? So we get started and you can choose any one. So just like how this works, see? Just how this works is how we have to make it work. Now this one only works when businesses pay us. Okay, small businesses under biz owner. As I mentioned before, biz owner is only for like a person that owns, I'd say, one restaurant. Okay, not for like a pizza hut that owns, there's 10,000 locations. Okay, so if you look at this, these are the features that you get, right? Uh, anyone that claims a free listing gets this. You know, if you pay, you get something else, you know? So these are the premium features. The, if you go to the back of the free account, you... You don't get unlimited uh, disputing of reviews, okay? So there's a lot of things you don't get with uh, if you are on the free plan. And after three disputed reviews, you they all businesses have to pay us if they want to dispute any more reviews, okay? So similarly, when we have an enterprise account, there's no, like here you can put in um, your credit card details, 
over here. See this? Monthly subscription, change plan, all this. Um, when an enterprise customer signs up with us, they're contacting with me directly. So we need to have something on the back end of uh, wiki reviews. So that's over here. So if we go, let me log out of this. Let me log into my personal account, which has the admin screen. Okay, this is the admin screen. So if we go to wiki admin, we need to set up a new section here called enterprise. Okay, and then when you click on enterprise, we need to set up this sign up form. Okay, where we have these fields, I have to put in the person's first name, last name, um, their job title, uh, their email address, their phone number, um, so area code, and then seven digits of phone number, the, their company name. Um, there's a we have to ask a question: Is this a franchise? And put a yes or no pull down that I have to I have to answer. How many store locations in USA and Canada? I have to put that number in here. How many are company owned? And how many are how many? Um, and how many? Um, oh, if the answer is uh, um, how many are company owned? Okay, so here we have to say um, the question is not how many are company owned. Are they? Is this? Does this business have all company owned locations? Yes or no. If the answer is no, then we ask how many store locations, and then you, we I click submit, and once I do, uh, an email goes to the person whose email address is here. We're saying, dear so and so. Uh, here is the link to sign up to um, Enterprise. Here is a temporary password. And once they sign in to Enterprise uh, over, you know, over here, the first thing they do when they log in, we have to make sure that they, um, that they, uh, you know, create a new password. So that's the first thing that they have to do when they come in. So we have to prompt them to create a brand new password for them. Okay. And that's how they get their account, the, the administrator, because they can set everything up through here. Okay? So, uh, let me just show you. So this is the form that has to be filled out. Okay? Okay, so, so basically when you choose a call to action, these companies are going to be these enterprise companies are going to be paying us. They're going to writing be writing us a check for all their locations, or they'll giving me they'll be giving me a credit card for, you know, all their locations. Okay, so in here, under um, right here we have under settings, we need to have another thing below settings, uh, which has to do with payments. Okay. And you can see we can copy it over. Like, see, oh, it should be here account information. Uh, where basically, if they want to put it on their credit card, they can put it here. And um, so we can integrate this so we can put in their credit card information and we can just charge on this. And the thing is, it's going to be on a, they can't cancel. So the, the plan details are there, member since, but they cannot cancel their plan. Okay, it can just be on recurring uh, billing, but it's ideally we don't offer this. So actually, you know what? Let's not put that in there for right now. Uh, don't put anything under account information. Just take that back uh, because I'm going to be having them send us checks. And so we have to mark, like if they claim their page for CBS, for example, that for some reason they're going to get all the benefits that a business like here could get, which is all of these features. Um, that a biz owner gets. Um, it's just that we have to mark all the CVS locations as paid. Okay. Um, and so someone will have to come up with a, with on the back end database, all the branches here. We'll review with them before we start to make sure we have them all. Otherwise, we'll have them add it or we'll add it on the back end to make sure all the proper locations are there. Okay. And then, um, and then they will get billings from us. Okay. Um, 
Let's see what's next. So basically, in here under settings, we are sorry under roles. See, you see all these. See all this. All of these are things that businesses can do. Respond to disputed reviews. This part we have to because we this part hasn't been integrated yet. This part has to also be there. Create and delete call to action. I don't think these are working, so we have to test all of these to make sure it works. But respond to disputed reviews create or delete call to action. This is allowing certain roles to do all of these tasks, okay? So we have that in here, we just have to make sure it works, okay? So um, we have to make sure that under setting, here I'll show you, go to a branch. See, none of these branches work. So in the branches section, when you get these pages working, um, we have to make sure that everything in biz owner where um, we show this part where we do this call to action so we have to have this call to action section set up in every business Okay, so we have to have that set up in, by, in every business over here, all of these. Okay, so the same thing has to be set up uh, under enterprise. Okay, so when you go to a business page, which these don't work right now, when you go to a business page, that should show up. Okay, so we have to add that. Then I can tell you the next one is uh, get biz dispute reviews working. And I think I sent you guys a video on how that should exactly work. Now, we did do most of the code, so that this should work, except for it has to be upgraded. Uh, the Python and Django code have to be upgraded and, um, and probably the front-end code. Um, so that, that probably has to be done to make sure this thing works. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know. Maybe as you get certain things fixed and upgraded, then you will be able to ask me more questions and see how the platform works. But um, I think I explained everything. And if you have any questions, certainly let me know. Thank you.